Hi, Dan Whitaker here to talk to you about some developments within depreciation and proper deductions for depreciation within a business that can save you substantial money uh, if they're applied properly. First thing I want to talk about is the PATH Act of 2015, signed late 2015. That permanently extended Section 179. What does that mean to you? That means that you can take up to a half a million dollar deduction for equipment that is purchased and placed in service in 2017. For certain SUVs, that's capped at $25,000. A couple of things to be careful for here is it can be limited to taxable income. So if you don't have taxable income, it's reduced to taxable income. You can't take taxable income below zero, so you can't create a loss with it. Uh, the next thing, if you purchase more than $2,030,000 in equipment, you start to phase out that half a million dollars, dollar for dollar, when you get over that. Uh, the thing to be careful for within Section 179 is depreciation recapture. If you buy equipment, vehicle, and you later sell it, you may have to recapture all or part of that and bring it back into income. So that's something to be careful for and to plan for as you're doing this. The next piece that I want to talk about within, within depreciation is what's called bonus depreciation or Section 168K. So that was a provision that was extended through 2019. For 2017, you can deduct up to 50% of the cost of the equipment. For 2018, up to 40% of the cost of the equipment. And in 2019, up to 30% of the cost of the equipment. Bonus depreciation is a little bit different than Section 179. While they both work together, uh, bonus depreciation only works with new assets, where Section 179, you can buy used assets or new assets and take the deduction. With Section 168 or bonus, there is no taxable income limitation, so you actually can use it to take a loss. From an ordering perspective, bonus depreciation is used after you take Section 179. So first you apply the rules of Section 179, and then you apply the rules of, of bonus. Uh, as far as what property is eligible, first it has to be new. Uh, tangible personal property with a maker's tax life of 20 years or less and then computer software that does not fall under section 179, I'm sorry, 197. So really what that means is, uh, is computer software, typically off the shelf software is uh, depreciated over three years or 36 months. So all of that qualifies under bonus. Uh, section 168 bonus is an automatic. So if you don't wanna take section 168 bonus, you have to elect out of it. That's something that's very easily done on a tax return. Uh, so within depreciation, you can see there's a lot of complex things that can save you a substantial amount of money. Uh, attached to this video, please find a deeper discussion on both Section 179 and bonus depreciation. If you have, if you have any questions, please feel free to give our office a call. Thank you.